可行的服务，就是说这样一个专业的一个词汇啊，这是作为一个风投常用的一个单词。第三个呢，就是说我们要在那个市场面经受考验啊，做一些做一些市场面的呃这个实验。第四个呢，就是要我们大量的就是呃就是大呃速度很快的往上发展。So in each of these phases, the thing that, that becomes interesting is that the behavior, the investment, the capital involved, the people are all very different, and yet usually it has to be the same people who, act, who actually have to evolve or get help or be replaced. So investors look for the right kind of people as well as the right path to sustainability. 在这个过程中呢，大家都知道，呃，我们会那个借助很多的这个人员。作为投资者呢，啊、呃，要给那个初创的这个团队啊、呃、进行交流。作为这个投资者最愿意这个能给这个团队成功交流的这样一个过程中呢，会就是有时候会团队人员会离职啊，会被后边被那个炒鱿鱼啊。如果不适合的话，所以说这个整个这个过程呢，也是一个就是避险的这样一个过程。So the startup ecosystem, we all know, and, and you know, we hear in the press and the media that it's a that there's huge upside potential. There's a huge, ex, a huge existing and new markets for things, and a lot of opportunity. But what we don't always realize is that there is also a huge risk of failure. From the time an idea surfaces and becomes a startup, 90 to 95 percent of those ideas and thus those startups will fail, and most failure. Happens in the transition between those phases I just described, and most founders aren't typically prepared to do the right things in each of those successive phases. 作为一个初创企业是非常激动人心的哈，大家都知道，呃，一个企业好好多成功的企业家都是呃那个身价很高，并且对社会对这个市场影响很大，呃，因为这个一个初创企业如果成功的话，这个成长和那个各方面都是很厉害的，但是呢。啊、呃，大家往往就是可能不知道哈，这种初创企业，一般的初创企业是九十到九十五的可能性都会失败的，因为那个会经历过很多很多的这种风险。然后呢，这种风险呢，往往是发生在刚刚我讲的那个四个阶段的这个，呃，这个就是呃，就是交流交替过程中啊。呃，另外呢，就是说一般的初创企业的这个企业家呢。往往对这个这种风险呢认识不足，也没有好好的准备，怎么去怎么去管理和处理它 ？So, in that case, then, how to help ensure success? And it becomes all about risk management. If founders and entrepreneurs are all about seeking opportunity because they have this great idea and this vision for a product, investors need to balance all of that enthusiasm. By being all about certainty, as investors, we want to be sure that we will make money on our investment. But here's the catch: opportunity cannot be managed; risk can be managed, and certainty is proportional to the risk management that you do. And that risk management takes several forms for both investors and founders alike, in cooperation. So, as a startup company, the 发起人和企业家呢，他们会到处去找很大的机会去做样一个企业，但是那个作为这个投资角度角度来讲呢，我们一般投资者考虑的是这个，呃，成功的这种呃确定性啊，当然是投资越投资的企业成功确定性越好，呃越多越好，呃这种那个，呃，一般作为投资人来讲呢，就是说他们认为像这种机会呢是。机会这东西是很难去去管理的哈，但是这个风险是可以管理和控制的。呃，那个作为投资人来讲呢，就是那个确定性呢，是和我们的这个呃风险的管理，特别是风险的减少是成比例的啊。呃，另外呢，就是说啊、呃，对于这个投资者和这个企业家来讲呢，这个投资的这个风险的管理呢，会有好几种模式。Yes。So I should add here that this is where it becomes a bit of a surprise because you would think that investors and entrepreneurs would naturally fall into their correct roles. But the surprise in the early stage ecosystem is that while founders are 
still all about opportunity and all about going to the moon as quickly as possible, you'd think that investors would be the ones to sort of temper their enthusiasm, but they aren't. Investors usually get caught up in the opportunity too, and this is where we run into problems. 作为那个企业家的初创人和企企业家来讲呢，他们总是想抓住这样一个难得的机会，发展就是很快啊。刚才那个 Peter 讲了，就像是你一直往那个呃奔月这样一个激情啊，就是往月亮上去走。呃，作为那个风险管理呢，并不意味着投资人去呃去打消或者去减少这个初创企业家的这个热情。而是呢，他们也是想找到更好的机会啊，跟大家一起那个把这个事业做成功。只是说呢，在这个作为投资人，在这个企业管理上呢，就是更加关注呃风险这方面的控制和管理上。So, looking again at what the ecosystem looks like, these transitions, where the rails split, in other words, where the path gets broken by someone not really thinking about what happens next. You see that the thought process for everyone in in each of these phases is very different. In ideation, the people, the inventors, the founders, the 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 young, the young enthusiastic graduates, are inventing and they're dreaming, and they're the idealists. They're not thinking about what happens all the way over on the far right, where someday it's a real big business and that's what it's all about. 这个作为这个过渡阶段呢，就是我们就是投资者常常就叫它是这个，就像我们的铁路分叉的这样一个导轨啊，就铁路分叉这样一个一个这样一个形容哈。呃，第一个阶段呢就是 ideation，ideation 在英语中就实际上就直白的讲，就是说我们的这个企业家和那个发起人，你的思，你现在对产品服务、企业的这样一个形成的这样一个过程哈，一般常常嗯就是说。怎么样去找那个投资啊？有好多自己一些 manager 就是管理自己一些那个呃梦想啊，或者达到什么样的一个呃一个目标啊，呃或者其他一些更加理想化的一些想法。And in the middle, in the middle two phases where an MVP is developed and it's taken to market, this is often where the biggest disconnect is because, of course, when you invent something, you think that everybody is going to want it. So you assume that the market is just enormous and practically infinite, and yet you aren't thinking about whether that's really true, whether it, whether the rest of the world shares your lifestyle or your desires. And in the middle, the marketing people, of course, don't understand just how cool your new idea is. And so there's very often a disconnect in making these transitions, and that's where investors have to intervene. In order to make sure that the transitions happen smoothly, because that's where nearly all of the failure of an early stage company happens. 下一步呢，就是我们中间那两个过渡阶段啊。第一个呢，就是指啊最小呃可认证的产品，或最小可以那个验证的这个服务，这是我们一个专业的常用的一个服务在硅谷啊。然后呢，就是说这两个阶段呢是非常非常重要。因为呢，这个呃，作为一个初创企业的发起人和企业家呢，往往这两个方在这两方面经验不足。作为投资人呢，往往就是喜欢深度的介入，呃，在那个 MVP、MVS 或者在那个市场试验阶段呢，呃，它上面写的很清楚啊，就是一些呃几个要点啊，每一个每一个点有几个这方面的呃知识哈、啊。呃，这个时候呢，是风投和企业家呃深度交流的一个。Okay. So, what are the roles? What do you have to do if you're an investor? What do you have? How should you be thinking about approaching different opportunities? And if you're an entrepreneur, how should you be thinking about approaching the process of getting your company off the ground, funded with the right resources and the right connections? So let's look at that one by one carefully.、Uh, first of all. Let's look at the investor's role. You have to be first and foremost. Well, when you start there, no, go to each one. 下一下一步呢，我就介绍一下，就作为一个投资人的角度，怎么去找有价值的好的一些这样一个初创企业去投资。而作为企业家和发起人呢，怎么去呃把自己的这个想法和一些产品和服务去呃做一些那个
呃很好的这个表达和这个呃其他方面的宣传，去找一些呃这个适合自己的投资人。现在呢，我们呃就这今天就先讲那个。作为投资人，这样第一个事情就是 BE 啊 ，BE 就是说 ，OK， you can go ahead. So, for example, be a skeptical cheerleader. What I mean by that is, your entrepreneur who you're investing in needs someone that believes in them and needs for someone that believes in them enough that they're going to really help. But you also have to be very willing, and in fact, you're responsible for identifying what might go wrong. Or if you have any concerns, you can't hold back. You have to let them know. 作为那个一个企业家发行人呢，他们呃常常就是说想到的是把这个事情怎么样更快的成功。呃，作为这个投资人呢，你不要去打打击他的这个热情。呃，一般来讲，投资人的角色呢是做一个持怀疑态度的拉拉队队长，即使给你鼓鼓励，同时呢也给你很多。做企业遇到的一些风险方面的控制和管理方面的一些知识。So find the gaps. That's a, a short phrase, and what it means is, don't look for how wonderful the idea is or how big the market is. Your job as an investor is to recognize where the founders are missing something, whether it's people or an understanding of their market, or whether it's just a business model that that hasn't been figured out yet. Or whether whether the deal has a problem, whether you're going to be able to actually make a return on your investment, even if the even if the deal, the company succeeds, because that doesn't always happen. 第二呢，作为投资人来讲呢，就是说要呃把这个初创企业的一些缺点、缺憾和一些缺失的东西呢，能主动能找出来，像团队啊，像他们的产品服务的设计啊。像他们的一些生意模式啊，很多很多方面呢，能够找出他们的缺陷，看看怎么去弥补。So, third, offer conditional support, and each each one of those words is important. Offering support in this case means make sure that you don't just stand by or write a check and hope that your entrepreneurs will do all the right things. Support them, but make sure that the support Is also conditional, so that if if the company doesn't do things the way you, as the investor, believe they should be done, and if problems occur as a result, there are consequences. This thing, I maybe he just talked for a long time. Maybe in Chinese words, it's "dead duck." This word is more suitable. That is, as an investor, you have to give the founders and the founders of the company a lot of support. But this support has to be conditional. It has to be conditional. 带有条件性的，就是说，如果说你这个给他设定一些目标，如果目标达不到呢，就会做一些惩罚；如果目标做得好呢，给他一些奖励。所以说，中国呢常常叫对赌哈，我可能是学过这个单词哈。Yeah, great. Make referrals, and this is an important one because most startups, in fact, I look at hundreds of deals every year. I would say all but one or two a year. Think that all they need is money, but as investors, we're usually the ones with the incredible network of people in high places, and that very often is worth much more than the money you invest. So make a point of activating your network. 据说作为投资人来讲，他给的不光是钱，他会把自己那个圈子会介绍给这个企业家哈。因为他每年刚才提到一个例子，就是看几百个这个初创企业，那么有一两个企业呢会常常只是说要钱，他认为呢就是说，呃，投资者的角度来讲，不光是给你的钱，给你了他自己一大堆的资源和自己那个圈子一些很多很多的这个能帮你的事情。And then the two requires require transparency from your investees and require regular communication and not just the good news. As an angel investor, I've made dozens of investments and found also dozens that, where I've written a check, made an investment, offered my help, and then I don't hear from anyone, in any way, for months or even years until something either good happens if I'm lucky or the company disappears, and that's unacceptable. 另外一个作为投资人最最关心的事情就是要有透明度。
，啊、呃，他特别是给了你你的钱之后，作为这个企业家呢，要要有高质量的给这个投资者的这样交流，能够把自己存在的问题、存在的成果。啊、呃，团队和的好多好多事情呢，给这个投资人交流。作为投资人来讲呢，他给了你钱之后，他们一定会去跟踪，想着去跟你交流。所以说呢，在这个方面呢，就作为企业家，不要给他假的一些消息，或者欺骗性的一些消息。他刚才提到，就是 Peter 说他一年呃投资十几个，作为一个呃就是那个 angel 这个 investor 哈。天使投资人投资十几个企业呢，就他就是有些企业呢，就说拿了钱之后呢，就就是成功也好，失败也好，就是往往就是是就没有更好的交流啊，这样就是不容易，不便于成功。In short, the whole process requires both carrots and sticks. You know, in other words, reward good behavior and good results, but also have consequences for bad results or bad behavior, if you will. So, with that, let's take a look at, at what are the, you know, the essential elements whoops, excuse me, for, for the investors to do. First and foremost, check everything. Validate the claims you're hearing, the market size and shape that you're hearing about, the people that you're dealing with, and the deal itself. 啊，最后一点，上一个上一个 slide， 他说的是说。作为投资人，给这个初创企业呢，一个是萝卜，一个是大棒，就是做得好，给你更多的奖励；做得不好的话呢，就会做一些惩罚。刚才都讲到了哈，中国大陆常常用“对赌”这个词来讲。那么说，这个、这个、这个，现在这一个 slide 呢，就讲呢，就是说，呃，作为一个投资人，一些最最最重要的一些因素啊，考虑的一些因素。第一个呢，就是要一定要非常不懈努力的、很积极的去确认、确认、再确认哈、啊。就是对于这个初创企业，他们给你做的一些承诺呀，给你一些做的一些呃产品这个服务的一些讲解呀，这个市场啊，啊、呃、这个团队啊，还有一些很多的这个商业方面的事情都要确认。第二个呢，就是要呃把这个团队的一些，因为你大家都知道，投资中。投资人对团队要求是非常高的哈，因为我拿过几次风投了哈。说这个团队的他这个是不是呃容易被这个教育？再就是他们的这个是不是很团结？第三个是不是很有这个 passion 热情和 commitment？ 就是说他是不是很努力把这个事情去做好？这方面就是说作为投资人一定要一定要这个确认这个事情。Mm -hmm. So the next two are are very closely related, and I call The first one, the three C's: coach, look for coachability, cohesion, and commitment. And what I mean by that is, the team, the company, rarely does what it set out to do the, in order to succeed. There are almost always pivots and turns and changes along the way. So the team has to be able to hear that and recognize it from outside or wherever. They have to be. Well put together enough, and 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 work well enough together as a team to make that happen. And they have to be committed to seeing those changes through. And when those changes need to happen, you as the investor need to either require that they be changed, or in some cases, set up your investment so that you can actually make the changes happen. Because sometimes entrepreneurs don't want to change. 刚才我多多翻译了这个一下啊，就是他有详细的。就是讲解了第二个，就是说关于这个初创团队的事情啊。这个团队呢，因为大家都知道哈、啊，这个呃，因为这个初创企业的变化很多，所以说这个团队的这个适应力哈、啊，它要很多这个像开车一样左转右转，前还是往后退哈、啊，就这方面一定要很机动性。那么作为企业家呢，往往他不愿意去听别人的意见，甚至这个投资者的意见，说这个团队的能不能愿意。去给投资者交流，听他们的意见呢非常重要。再就是他们的要很团结 ，cohesion 啊，要非常团结，是一个整体。再就是他们有当有这个热情和这个呃努力去把这个事情做好。So as we wrap up, demand focus and and linking milestones to investment and incentives to performance is another form of saying have carrots and sticks. 
，所以后边三个呢就很简单了，就是说一定如果作为投资人呢，一定要。早早发现问题，早早做一些决策，去这个改变这个企业家和这个团队的一些行为。再就是呢，就是说，还是刚才讲了，用萝卜加大棒的方式，奖励和惩罚并用。So here's what founders need to think about, and this this is my closing slide to kind of wrap up the concept of de-risking and the mind, the the frame of mind that needs to belong to each of the each side in this situation, to founders and to and to investors. Founders need to realize that because failure happens in the transitions, they need to focus on being able to actually navigate those trans those transitions seamlessly and seek the help that they need and don't think that they can do it all themselves. This slide, ah, 就这个图片呢，就这个幻影片呢，主要是讲作为这个初创企业的发起人和企业家最最关键的一些呃事情啊，关心的问题。第一个呢，一定要一定要记住哈，他刚才提到四个阶段的这个过渡期哈，一定要在这个把这个过渡期的呃管理好，呃，另外呢就是尽量的去找一些自己可以找到的帮帮助，能把过渡期做好。Secondly, don't try to jump to the to the moon in a single step.、Uh, I've seen so many startups that conclude that they need to raise. Three, four, five, ten million dollars in order to dominate their market or to get to sustainable growth, and then they set out to raise that capital right out of the gate as a first round of investment. I always encourage companies to think in terms of having incremental milestones, both to not take money too early and give up too much equity, but also to establish trust between. Themselves and their investors, themselves and their market, and to have points in the process where pivots can occur and investment can be fitted to the need as the need evolves. 另外一个就是作为企业家最最关心的一个需要注意的事情是什么呢？就是说，一定不要一口吃个大胖子，就是这是这是这是什么啊？意义意过来了啊，都就是直译就是说不要一步登月啊，登到月球上去。那么作为一个企业家发起人，常常就说哦，我一一次性的找一大堆投资哈，呃，几百万美金甚至几千万美金，一定要就是说把这个市场占领，嗯、那个一步到位，这样的话呢，往往是呃不好的，应应该是说一步一步的来，就是一步拿投资，还是一一小一小的投资，一块块去拿，然后得到市场确认，得到这个大家的承认啊，一个一个里程碑一个里程碑往前走。如果说你一次到位的话呢，不光是得不到投资人的信任，同时呢，市场和你这个呃，这个就是你圈内的人也不容易去去相信你。所以这方面一定要很很注意。So just as your investor has to be able and willing to participate in helping to steer the business, you have to be as the entrepreneur. Willing to actually ask for to and welcome that constructive criticism and act on it appropriately. 另外呢，就是作为发起人、企业家呢，应该多多的听别人的意见，就是能够接受别人的批评。特别是作为投资人，给你提意见、提出批评的时候，要更加的注意。So this is the first of my two quick stories、uh, as as part of the illustration. Maintain urgency and remember what I call the ten horse race theory. So every entrepreneur, at some point, thinks that their idea is unique and wonderful, and they're the only ones in the world that have it. I've made this mistake myself several times and paid the price. What you need to remember is that building a new business, bringing a new idea to the table in a big world, is like entering a horse race with ten horses in it. Knowing, and you have to know that five of those horses can win the race, and two of them are probably already ahead of you. So you have to be ready to run as fast as you can, with as much commitment, and with as much attention to the important things, so that you don't get run over by the horses trying to catch up, and that you also don't stumble and fall when you're not paying attention. This is what Peter himself has often said. He says that there are ten horses. 四个赛马的这样一个理论哈、啊，就说作为一个发起人、企业家，一定要有紧迫性。就说他意思说，就像你做一个企业，就像你刚刚进入了一个有十个马的这样一个赛场，这十个马呢有五个马有可能会赢
，另外两个马呢已经可以已经在你前边了。说你你，并且你刚刚进来有很多很多的问题啊，需要你去处理。所以说一定一定要有紧迫性，要把这个自己的事情要尽量的做的完美，不要犯错误。So ultimately, this also adds up to being confident, but also humble. And right after Gordon interprets that, I'll tell you my last story, and it's about markets. 另外最后一点呢，就作为这个发行人企业家的哈，一定要特别自信，但同时更重要的，一定要很谦卑，要能听到很多不同的意见。他下面有一个例子来说明。So, I'll close with this observation about understanding markets, and this is for the entrepreneurs, but even for the investors as well, because again, investors get excited about an idea, and it goes like this. In 1998, actually,、uh, early 99, a company called Pets.com set out to raise money to start delivering pet food to people, and they were going to build market share by shipping the food FedEx overnight for free, 50-pound bags of food, and grow their market. And they were so excited because the market, as they concluded, was so big that. The sky was the limit once they got people hooked. But here's the catch: they were so excited about their market and paid so little attention to what the market really was going to be, what they could actually capture, that their business plan estimated that by the time they started making money, making a profit, they would be selling more dog food than there were dogs on the entire planet to eat it. Don't make that mistake. <laughs> 这个是一个硅谷发生一个大家都知道的那个事实啊，呃，一个事情。当时我还在硅谷，在哪的风投做企业哈、啊，就是在一九九九年的时候呢，硅谷有一个公司是做那个电商的哈、啊，叫 Pets.com，Pets 就是说专门是呃利用这个联邦货运其他货运公司啊，物流公司呢，给养狗、养猫这些子呃宠物人去卖，在网上卖卖那个动物食品的。这个企业呢，就是作为企业家来讲啊，就是这个故事对企业家、对这个发行人、对这个投资人都是很好的教训啊。当时他们那个过于过于的这个乐观，对市场的需求呢是分析的也不到位。这一个很大的笑话什么哈、啊？他们当时估计自己的这个呃公司的这个以后的这个业绩的时候呢，他们的业绩的运送的食品超过地球上所有的这个，就作为狗这一类哈、啊。就他们当时估算的这个呃运的狗的数已经大大超过世界上所有狗加起来的这个数量，说他们有严重的误判这样一个故事啊。And with that, I thank you very much,、uh, Diana. Do we are we doing questions or anything from that on that front?、Or? 很谢谢 Diana 啊，就是看看要不要。Thank you, Diana. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Peter. Thank you so much. Uh, let's stay here. We're going to have a panel discussion and a dialogue with Hen Qing. Uh, very much.